We see ourselves in the stories of others. And free ourselves writing our own. Love it. It's only 30 seconds long, but packs a super powerful and patriotic punch. It's called A Portrait of Canada, and it was shot entirely on iPhone. It brings together these three emerging Canadian artists. Please welcome... Caitlin Cronenberg, Humble the Poet and Bear Witness from a tribe called Red. Woo! Welcome. Thank you so much for Talk coming in. Talk about a trifecta of talent. This yes. was incredible. I said my only criticism is I wanted more. I want another 30 seconds and another 30 seconds. So first of all, congratulations, because this was definitely a challenge. It was a challenge. Being shot on iPhone and being only 30 seconds long. Well, I'll tell you that we did shoot enough for it to be like three hours long. <laughs> <laughs> because when you're dealing with this country, it's huge, there's so much to cover, and we covered it. Mm -hmm. And then the decisions, to, I mean, we had to cut it down, obviously, because it's a 30-second spot, but we saw everything and we shot everything, and I got to experience all of that, so I feel like I know, you know, the, the expansiveness of the country and everything that was in it. Um, I mean, we did really, I think they did a great job of cutting it down. I remember when I was in, in school, uh, I took a poli sci course at Ryerson, and one of the things that Canadians talked about in, in, in the studies that they had done at the time, this would be about 10 years ago, was that we didn't really understand what our own national identity was. Mm -hmm. What did you learn about Canada's national identity for the three of you uh, in this situation, kind of going in and then coming out? Did it change at all for you? I mean, not necessarily for me. I think that the whole idea of Canada is that it is an inclusive nation these days, especially we're really working hard to have a, a welcoming attitude and have everybody sort of represented, um, which I feel is you know, important, especially in the current climate of the world. Mm -hmm. So I've, what I really learned just from walk, traveling across the country is you, you see that. You do see so many different people represented, people feeling comfortable, people feeling patriotic, and no matter where you are in the country, people are proud to be Canadian. That being said, bear witness, I know you are taking uh, up an issue with the fact that we are celebrating Canada's 150th. Can you expand on that? Yeah, I mean, as an Indigenous person, that's a really difficult thing to celebrate. Um, you know, when I see all this Canada 150 stuff everywhere I turn, it's really difficult for me. It's almost uh, a, a traumatic experience because what I see is 150 years of forced assimilation, 150 years of attempted genocide. Mm -hmm. you know, I saw a quote from a friend of mine earlier today before I came in that said, Indigenous people are the only people who should, should really be celebrating 150 years, and it's 150 years of survival. What do you think about the fact that you have people like Gord Downey coming forward, you know, from the tragically hip, and you have Prime Minister Trudeau also doing that, saying we want to right our wrongs so that we don't make the same mistakes? Mm -hmm. Do you and think it's 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 going in the right direction? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I'm I'm watching things really change in this country, you know, and, and like especially with this video, um, we talk a lot about representation and being you know being part of the general conversation mm -hmm. but in this video that got to go a bit a step further where we were part of the conversation of the content of the video and making it comfortable for us to be involved in something that was celebrating Canada. Yeah, and speaking of humble, you put beautiful words to this. Was it challenging to, 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 to make such an impact in 30 seconds, and how did you come about choosing those words? Um, it was definitely a challenge, trying to find a way to celebrate what Canada is today and where Canada is headed, uh, acknowledging everything that's happening, acknowledging the, uh, the differences of thoughts when it comes to uh, Canada 150, uh, acknowledging the differences that we have with our neighbors to the south. And uh, yeah, writing a lot of words, putting them together, a lot of trial and error, a lot of different cuts, and also at the same time, just simply giving room for a tribe called Red to breathe with their music and uh, having the photos and videos breathe with, with nobody speaking over it. So I think it came out beautifully. It absolutely did. It absolutely, and, and I'm going to echo what Dina said. I wish it was longer. That's yeah. all. But if you've got enough to do three hours, would you consider doing a longer version of it? <laughs> <laughs> Am I hinting at something that maybe might be coming in the future? There's two and a half more minutes of track. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. he's yeah, like my, a, a wordsmith. Yeah. Minute long. Yeah. Minute long. That's know. a yes. Yeah, I think that's a yes. That's a to be continued. Congratulations. You three really did work beautifully together. It's amazing how these things really do synergetically come together in such a powerful way. Even though it's only 30 seconds, it was a tough thing to do, and all three of you did it. So keep doing what you're doing and making us proud to be Canadian. For a link to see this film, go to our website, breakfasttelevision.ca.